Hi, I'm Susie Fleming Leonard and welcome to Today in Brevard Entertainment. The weekend is almost here and we've got a show full of suggestions of ways you can make the most of your precious time off. We'll take in the exotic sights and sounds of Skewer's Restaurant in Indie Atlantic. We'll hear some beautiful music made by the Space Coast Flute Orchestra. And we'll meet a super talented man who's leaving his mark on the local and national art scene. But right now, let's check in with Jennifer Sangalang, editor of our Metro Mix Entertainment website, to see what her crew has to recommend. Jennifer, I hear the night owl is going to be out this weekend. Actually, he is. Casey Dakotis, our night owl photographer, will be documenting the heaven and hell themed costume dance at Vapor Hookah Bar and Social Club in downtown Melbourne. That event will be from 8 to 2 on Saturday, and they're going to have belly dancers, tarot card readers, and lots of other fun things. You know, Casey is such an amazing photographer. He doesn't just take pictures, he makes art. Can, can we see a couple of his pictures right now? Yeah, sure. Let's put them up. It, the party sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun, and as an added bonus, you might get to be a subject of one of our night owl photos. But you know, that's not the only chance you're going to have to make it into one of our Metro Mix photo galleries, right? That's right. You can also get zapped this weekend. The Zap Squad will hit JD's Sports Bar in Palm Bay at about 11 o'clock on Friday. So if you're in the area, stop by and say hello to Heath. And of course, if dinner and a little entertainment is what you've got in mind, we've got you covered there too. Jennifer, why don't you tell us about this week's Metro Mix video? Well, Shauna Maggard and Bruce Hickman went to skewers in Indian Atlantic recently. Shauna tried the Middle Eastern food while Bruce tried the hookah and checked out the belly dancer. You know, I think this may be one of my favorite videos yet. Let's check it out. If you like a little spectacle with your dining experience, Come check out Skewers in Indie Atlantic. I'm Shauna Maggard with Metro Mix Brevard, and we're going to check out the sights and taste of Skewers. We specialize in East Mediterranean food. Uh, the food is delicious, flavorful. It took thousands of years to perfect our menu. It just happens to be a bonus of healthy. It's a lot of vegetarians, lamb, chicken, fresh seafood. We uh, usually use rice for starch. You use pita bread to eat. That's skewers in a nutshell. So you really can't talk about skewers and, until you talk about the belly dancing that happens here on Saturday nights. I mean, that's part of you know, tradition. The belly dancing is done in great taste. We have grandparents to 10-year-old children to anywhere in between that are thrilled with the show. And they get up and they dance. And the belly dancer is very motivating for them. She wants to come up and she'll show them a few moves. And they do it, and everybody's having a blast. Pictures are being taken. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it uh, for 25 years, essentially, and it's part of the culture, and we can't do without it. I see there's some hookahs over there. Can you, where do you set that up and tell a little bit about that? Yeah, we, uh, we have flavored uh, hookahs, uh, tobacco uh, that's filtered through the water, uh, and probably a dozen different flavors. It enhances the experience when you come to skewers sit down and enjoy a nice meal, knowing it's healthy. You get the belly dancer, the Turkish coffee, the hookah at the end. It's just a, a special, uh, special occasions. Uh, it's wonderful. All right, Eddie, can you tell us what we have here? This is more of our traditional appetizers. It's a combination of all of them. That's called baba ghanouj. Essentially, it's like hummus, but instead of using chickpeas, we use eggplant that we bake here, puree mixed with Tahine, garlic, and lemon juice. So we have some, uh, uh, it's a caprese, eggplant caprese, which is uh, Japanese breadcrumbs uh, covered eggplant, and then we fry them, flash fry them. Uh, we have our famous garlic chicken, and we have bacon wrapped scallops and uh, black tiger shrimp on a bit of jasmine rice. And we, we pair it with wines. Uh, we have a nice variety of, of wines from all over the world. So, while I just had to sample some of the Mediterranean cuisine skewers offers, our videographer snuck off to try the hookah with mixed results. Fortunately, our favorite waiter, Joey, was willing to give a lesson. Maybe next time, even I will give the hookah a hit. From Metro Mix Brevard, this is Shauna Maggard. 
You know, Bruce said he's going to need a little more practice before he masters that hookah, but he had so much fun shooting that video. I'm betting he'll be back soon to try again. You know, one of the other hot tickets this weekend will be at the 321 Agency in downtown Melbourne. The agency will celebrate the opening of Derek Gore's Torn. It's an exhibit. They're going to be having an opening reception at 7 p.m. on Friday. Derek is a 1989 Satellite High School graduate who recently returned to Brevard to pursue his career as an artist. Arts writer Pam Harbaugh visited Derek at his home studio to get some insight into how he creates his work. Let's watch that now, and when we come back, Derek and Pam will be here to talk more about this weekend's opening. Although he prefers to work in a peaceful backyard, life is stepping into the fast lane for Derek Gores. His one-man show, Torn, opens Friday. For 12 years in Tampa, I was working for a big apparel company, art directing a team of creative artists. It was time to see what else I had in my head. I got into a show up there in, in Washington right before the presidential inauguration. The collage that I did sold for $35,000, so that was unprecedented for me, to say the least. With his catapulting popularity, Gores was asked to donate work to be auctioned off at a fundraiser for the Scott Center for Autism at Florida Tech. A metaphor that's often used is, is that of a puzzle. I felt like my collage technique was a, was a great example, a great use of that idea. And I'm using pieces of paper to recapture an existing image through using, you know, torn bits of paper. I've got my truckloads of magazines. I have friends who drop them off to me sometimes. And I start tearing stuff up. And in this particular piece that I'm going to be working on here, I need a lot of colors, a lot of reds and yellows. and Just matte medium. There are a lot of things you could use. You could even use Elmer's glue. Just squirt it into a tub and get a brush and put some hocus pocus over it a little bit. <sighs> Sometimes we whisper, I need some good work today, you know, something like that, with the kids anyway. Put some glue down, put it on there. And look at this, got some orange juice to put in there. That sounds, sounds like fun for this tropical look that we're doing. Derek Gore's one-man show, Torn, includes nine large works. It opens Friday at the 321 Agency in downtown Melbourne. Call 255-0566. I, bet it'll, I think it's going to be crowded. A lot of people are asking me about it, talking about it. Um, I, think, I think people are going to just love it. The pulsing music would be really good. Welcome, Pam and Derek. You know, Derek, this sounds like it's going to be so much fun Friday night. Uh, it, it will be for me. and. Surely for all the people who come out, it's going to be good. Well, tell us a little bit about what's going to be going on Friday and, and your works that are in this exhibit. And sure. Well, this is my first solo exhibition. It's nine uh, large works, some of the biggest things I've ever done. Uh, a few of them are six feet tall. They're all collages. This is uh, just a collage exhibition, and I've been reading a lot of magazines to prepare. So. And we saw in, in your video, Pam, but I still can't believe that you make such amazing things by just ripping up your magazines. And I can't believe that you do it so neatly and with such organization. <laughs> oh, that's that's just the case. Occasion, like before I start a flurry of new work, I get organized, but you know, right now back at the studio it's a mess. So I'm glad oh. I'm glad you came the day you did. Well, so. I'm glad to hear that it's a mess. It makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> you know, I have a uh, card here of uh, uh, publicizing torn, and I love the way you put this together. Well, the design of the card is, was by Ryan there at 321 Agency, but uh, yeah, it's a, a collage portrait of myself. I hadn't done one in probably a decade and a half, um, and the guys suggested when it was time to put the show together, they said, you know, I think it's time you uh, do a self-portrait. Uh, you've been, I've been doing all these collages, and let's, um, let's see what you look like in a collage, so I obliged. Well, I have to say, your work has really captured a lot of attention here in Brevard County, certainly nationally, but every exhibition that I'm going to, if you have a piece there, there are people huddled around it uh, viewing your work. It has really become, well, blockbuster um, art, and which is sort of, almost seems like it would be an oxymoron, but you and some of these other people at the 321 Agency have really created um, a resurgence in the art scene here in Brevard County. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, it's, there's, the people are here, the artists are here, there's, there's all kinds of interesting work being done. Um, you know, some of us just uh, 
maybe glued together some of those people so it, it starts to shine some light on it. But there's, there's a lot of interesting talent here, and uh, I look forward to bringing more of it out. We, that's what we try to do in some of these shows. So, yeah, it's a little funny to, to have a solo show. It'll just be me, but all my good friends will be there, and we'll see how they get involved in the next exhibitions for sure. Well, it certainly is going to be the place to be on Friday. Um, I, I know at previous exhibitions that uh, 3 to 1 Agency has been involved with, uh, it, it's brought out such an interesting group of people. You go to these and you think, I'm not in Kansas anymore, or Florida, or Brevard, <laughs> or what, or whatever you want to say. There's a, a definite cosmopolitan feel to this. Yeah, I think that's because we, we see the event as the art form and and the people as the art form, so it's not, it's not just uh, you know, some certain list of people who supposedly like art. It's, it's the tattoo guys, and it's the surfer people, and it's the older folks, and it's the younger people, you know, graffiti kids. Whoever has something to bring to the table, we, we're happy to have them. And now, how long have you been back in Brevard County? I know you, you went away to school and right. lived in Tampa for a while. Right, and, and been, been back, uh, back in town about two years now. Right after the, my kids uh, finished, finished school in 2007 over in Tampa, we we were on the road the following Saturday, back back home. And did you ever think that you would, or was there any skepticism that you would be able to make a living as an artist? I mean, the, making a living as an artist is, is a hard thing to do, and, and you're doing it, and it's just... I don't think it's any harder than anything else. I just, I mean, it's what I know. It's Art is what I do. I, just, I start with what I know how to do, and then I, I trust that the, you know, making a living will follow, and it's... You know, it's working out. Well, there's a lot of talent propelling what you know what to do. Uh, and, and really, I, another interesting aspect to Derek is that he's a real family man. When he creates his work, he likes to be outside listening to his kids splashing in the pool. I love having that. Having fun. The, and the, 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 you know, you, you kind of imagine the artist kind of huddled away in this quiet, dark, place with a ray of light on their canvas and don't well, disturb me but I mean that you do your artwork out by the pool with your kids playing there, and there's that part so too cool. there are parts of the process where uh, yeah I, I need you know need quiet or need music or something but uh, you know my we have this great space there for the whole family sometimes the extended family to use and sometimes that just works out great for working on my artwork also do your children ever help you adhere any of the pieces to the canvas? Sure. Some of the some of the viewers out there have probably seen me do the human paintbrush, where I pick up my kids and <laughs> back up and <laughs> char charge at the canvas with paper. You know, some silly Are stuff. Are they holding a paintbrush? You don't. Well, no. They they'd be holding a piece of paper and then okay. smack it on <laughs> there. I'm but just I'm picturing you dipping your hair in the paint. At the <laughs> no. I'll I try, wish I had that, that, that on though. the video. That would have been fun. <laughs> I, I enjoy sort of creative games that that uh, make surprises happen. Whether it's having somebody else be part of it. In fact, uh, some of the guys at Three Two One and I, every once in a while, will do something called tag team doodling, where I'll draw something and then they'll draw something, add to it, and that's the thrill of it is what comes that you didn't expect. So, I, and, and that's that's a large part of why I like the collage work is I'm taking pieces of magazines that already come with their own history, you know, maybe it's a, an ad for aspirin or it's a, a fashion shoot or something and I'm you know, repurposing that content in, for a new use in what I'm making. Well, certainly the Obama poster that sold, well, excuse me, it was a collage uh, that sold for $35,000, um, which is really impressive. I'm, I'm impressed by that. Um, there were a lot of words uh, adhered to the image there, which creates a deeper, a broader meaning to to the image that you're viewing, correct? Absolutely. In, in that case, I, I used portions of the president's speeches on his uh, in his health care plan, which uh, that's, that's what the focus of that piece was for. That was the contest that I entered. Um, as well as just, uh, you know, single phrases. My wife helped me uh, cut out a lot of words, just, again, from other spots that take on a different meaning, maybe the color that's added or the tone of the, the kind of lettering that's used, and it does, it, it, it starts to feel like the groundswell, uh, or, or I think art has the potential to, uh, to capture s some feeling that's intangible 
and make give you something to focus on, something to rally behind if you want. Well, Derek, thank you for joining us today, and I hope you have a great time Friday. It sounds like it sounds like it really is going to be the place to be Friday to be night. There. <laughs> thank Absolutely. you. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, by the way, our night owl photographer Casey Dakotas is going to be at this event too. So. Once again, you can have an opportunity to see the art and become part of the art if you get your picture taken. And now we're going to give you a sample of the music by one of our favorite local groups. That's the Space Coast Flute Orchestra. They're going to be having their solo and ensemble concert at 2.30 on Sunday at Sun Tree Methodist Church. Let's stop in at one of their rehearsals. here for the Space Coast Flute Orchestra Solo and Ensemble Concert, which will be held on the 26th of July at 2.30 at Century United Methodist Church. I asked Ron Texera if he would like us to play the piece that he had written for Paula. We had sight read it last month, um, and he had submitted it along with the piece he's written for our fall concert where we're featuring local composers. I originally wrote the piece uh, when I was headed up to New York to record a trio album with piano, bass, and drums, and I wanted to write something for my new wife, Paula. It's a wonderful thing. I, um, it's hard to play it without crying, actually. It's such a beautiful piece of music, and I feel very... Um, <sighs> I don't know how... I, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel honored that he wrote the piece for me. Uh, I decided to arrange this with piano and also for for flute orchestra, but the way I arranged it, it worked out really nice to use just the five different types of flutes in the piano. Wasn't that enjoyable? The concert should be just beautiful. Well, thank you for joining us today. As always, if you want more information about the things we've talked about today, or anytime you're looking for something to do in Brevard County, you can check out brevard.metromix.com, floridatoday.com, or you can pick up a copy of tomorrow's TGIF entertainment section. From all of us at Today in Brevard and Florida Today, have a great weekend. <laughs>